19. Soapy Joe's is helping those facing food insecurity in the community. Casey McKenna is live at the San Diego Food Bank with more on the Fill the Bus campaign. She joins us now for a stationary live shot. <laughs> yes, no more dancing. Dancing is done. We are over here at the San Diego Food Bank this morning because we're talking about the Fill the Bus campaign. It concludes today and all of the food and different items that they collected couldn't have been done without organizations just like Soapy Joe. So, of course, we have Soapy out here this morning, but we also have Ann to talk to. Uh, tell us about what you guys have been doing to help out the San Diego Food Bank. Yes, well, we were so pleased throughout the month of December to work with our partners at 100.7 Big FM to fill their monstrous 43 foot long tour bus with food on behalf of the San Diego Food Bank. So thank you to all of our customers and all the community who helped us achieve that effort. We're so thrilled to be able to donate that today. Is this your guys' first time being involved with this? And why did you decide to help out an organization like the San Diego Food Bank? Yes, this is our first time doing Fill the Bus. So thank you again for helping us make it a huge success in our first year. The reason we decided to do it is because we ask every year our own customers what would be a meaningful way to be involved in the community. And the number one answer is homelessness and food insecurity. So we're so thrilled to listen to the voice of our customers and be able to give back in that way. Well, you are a family-owned business and it's great to see family-owned business helping out uh, people in San Diego community. And all of this is happening today. The bus is going to arrive about 10.30. So Chris Carter is joining me from the San Diego Food Bank to have organizations like Soapy Joe's help you guys fill the bus to help out San Diegans. What does that mean to you guys? You know, it's huge for us. Soapy Joe's helped us over the holiday food drive period. We have hundreds of businesses like Soapy Joe's that collect food for us over the holidays. And they raised hundreds of thousands of pounds of food at a critical time for us. A lot of families are still suffering the lasting impacts of the pandemic and right now we had food price inflation at a 40-year high. Uh, rents are going up across the board. Gas is expensive now. Uh, so a lot of families are still suffering and uh, they're, they're coming to the food bank to get rely on our services and it's with the help of Soapy Joe's and organizations like them that we're able to meet that increased need. Well, Ann was saying that the bus that's going to arrive here about 10.30 this morning is monstrous. So how many people is this going to help today? Well, Apparently, what we've seen is that there are going to be thousands of pounds worth of food on the bus. So we're excited to take all the food off the bus, uh, just put it on the shelves of the food bank. That's going to help us feed hundreds of families throughout the county uh, with that just that one donation alone. Well, the Fill the Bus concludes today. So what's next for the San Diego Food Bank? How can people still get involved and help you guys help San Diegans? Absolutely. Well, we have our virtual food drive technology. We're really encouraging that now uh, because, you know, it's, it's a very easy way to support us online. Uh, you can donate online or, or host a food drive, host a physical food drive. Uh, we're encouraging organizations to visit our website and find out ways that they can support the food bank. Chris, is there anything that you want San Diego to know about how important it is that um, you need to share that people out there still really do need help? There's a lot of folks out there who need help. And one thing I'd like to share is that we have a zip code locator online. So anyone who needs assistance, they can go to our website, enter their zip code, and it'll show all of the distribution sites near their home where they can get assistance. Assistance. It's a very easy tool to use. We have 200 dis distribution sites throughout the county and 35 super pantries. So we have food available. If people are in need of assistance, just visit San Diego Food Bank.org. Well, Chris, thank you for joining us outside with Soapy and Ann this morning. The bus is arriving about 1030 with thousands of pounds of food. We're it's going to help out a lot of people. Send things back to you guys.